excitement rushed through the Trebum as the mass of lens came to life and started rising into the air. They had to get off quickly, as staying on top of the majestic construct as it rose would be quite dangerous. The Trebum marveled at the miracle their ancestors had wrought. What other incredible things had they built that were now forgotten? A question for another day. For now, the Trebum had two more lenses to find. In shock and having barely survived, did not know what to think. 
one of their most dangerous enemies lay dead. The Eternal Cylinder was immobile and quiet in the distance. The floating palace where they had expected to dance and sing for all those left behind was out of reach. And then came a call. It was very subtle and weak at first, but grew stronger and stronger. Was it the ones trapped in the cylinder calling to the Trebon? Was it the voice on their memories urging them on? The portal into the cylinder's dreams lay open. They had not yet reclaimed all the abilities of their ancestors. Wandering that strange world once again would take great bravery. But with all they'd been through, they had gained the courage to do what needed to be done. It might be reckless, it might be dangerous, but they had to step inside one more time. What had happened? How long had they been in the cylinder's mind? It had felt like a short time to the Trebum, but when they returned, the world had changed. It seemed as if parts of the cylinder itself had spilled out, its dreams corrupting the land. The cylinder lay still, but there was no sign of the mathematician. The cylinder kept moving. What a strange place, the Trebum thought. But even stranger were the feelings that stirred in their memories, like a voice from a lost world long ago. Their worst fears had come true. The mathematician was alive, and now he had brought forth this wheeled monstrosity. Would the nightmare never end?
Trebum found the sinister creature that the Elder had told them about. However, this creature was still in the process of eating its meal, and it could take a long time for it to complete its terrible feast. They would have to keep going and find another. At least they now knew what type of creature to look for. As soon as the Trebum mutated, it began to feel a call, as if it was being drawn to some place nearby. It was now the master of song, and it was time for its voice to be heard. At the top of this tower, right here in this place and with the proper mutation, now was the time for the Trebum to sing. Strike at the abomination, and then meet me where only shattered pieces are left. 